Howdy. I was thinking about a new greeting I could do today. And that's the one that came out. Happy Friday. It is March 5th. And today is the fifth day of my five and five perspective perspective videos. Woo! We made it. And I would like to talk today about giving people the benefit of the doubt, particularly in a relationship slash intimate relationship. And the example that I'm going to use is with Eric, my husband, and how we have completely shifted our relationship by giving each other the benefit of the doubt. Basically, my old self, who I called old, who I call old me, was extremely insecure and basically thought that everybody hated me and had it out to get me and had very malintent whenever they were interacting with me. If they did something that led to me feeling hurt, I would take it personally instead of recognizing that they're just doing whatever they're doing and it's not necessarily about me. And because of all of the ways in which I used to take things personally, I dragged that into my relationships. And so if Eric was doing something which I felt jealous of or something, I would feel hurt and then I'd blame him and assume that he was trying to get under my skin or that he was trying to hurt me or whatever it was. So that was from seven and a half years ago when we first got together for the first few years that we were together. We both used to do it. And this idea of giving each other the benefit of the doubt has changed the way that our relationship looks because it's not, oh, why did he do this to me? It's genuine curiosity, like, oh, I wonder why he did that. I noticed that he did that and I was feeling hurt afterward. We're going to have a conversation about it and find out where the miscommunication happened or where the misunderstanding was because I assume that he is coming from a good place, that he's not coming from a place of malintent. That is what it means to give someone the meta the blah, 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 the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt. Was a toughie? Not really. To give somebody the benefit of the doubt means to trust that their intentions are good and true and to not take things personally is the other part of what it means for me to give him the benefit of the doubt and just basically anybody. Um, so yeah, it has been a really interesting and wonderful, beautiful way for us to interact with each other because now like, it's been years that we've been doing this and it feels like we are on the same team. We are genuinely on the same team. We want the same things. We want what's best for each other, for ourselves, for our marriage, everything, instead of, oh, he's over there, I'm over here, we're having disagreements and I'm making it about me and I'm making it about him. It's like, oh, if our disagreements are happening, then we must just not be seeing things the same way. Let me get genuinely curious about something and find out how we can figure out where we stand with things. So instead of coming at him with insecurity and anger and resentment and fear, I now come to him with genuine curiosity and usually calmness, sometimes not, uh, to find out where our disagreement is happening and how we can get back on the same page and move forward together. So benefit of the doubt perspective. Some people might think that they could be taken advantage of by doing something like that. And I believe that being taken advantage of is in the eye of the beholder. So you can give somebody the benefit of the doubt and not let them take advantage of you. Boom. Perspective, giving someone the benefit of the doubt could lead to much more compassionate and connected relationships because you trust that the other person is not out to get you, but in fact, you could be on the same team and that you're after the same things together. Yay for that. And hi, Eric. I love you. Well, that was weird. I called you Eric. I never called you Eric. <laughs> um, happy Friday to everybody. I hope you're having the days you're having. And I am not yet sure what I'm going to do moving forward with video production, but I definitely do plan to be more consistent as compared to my last four-ish month hiatus that I've had. Yay! And if you're wondering, yes, this is the same shirt that I was wearing yesterday. <laughs> I swear I shower sometimes. <laughs>